second youngest son. He's suggesting it came out of nowhere. What we subsequently learned is it may have come from the former president or his legal team acting in bad faith. This is a deep fake example of what is possible with powerful computer and editing. It took around 72 hours to create this example from scratch using extremely powerful GPU. It could be improved with more computing time, but 90% of people cannot tell the difference. You think you know pixels? Think you can tell me real from real? Think again. In today's video, we've cracked the digital vault and unearthed the top five AI deepfakes that broke the internet. These aren't your grandma's face swap filter selfies. These are reality hacks, mind benders that almost tip the scales of the world wide web, all using the power of AI. From a picture of Donald Trump that nearly cost him a chance at re-election to a video of Morgan Freeman saying something we'd never have imagined. The emergence of AI has ushered in the world of deepfakes, and we're going to show you the top deepfakes of all time and the reaction that ensued from each. And for the number one deepfake on our list today, well, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Ready? Let's hit it. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? The era of deepfakes has ushered in a new wave of creativity and innovation placing the power of digital storytelling in your hands. But before we unveil the top five today, you need to understand how these deepfakes are even possible and the AI technology behind them. A deepfake is a form of synthetic media where someone's face or voice is seamlessly swapped with another's, all thanks to the magic of deep learning. Creating a deepfake may sound like a task reserved for tech wizards, but in fact, it's surprisingly easy. The process begins by training a neural network with hours of real video footage of a person, allowing it to grasp every nuance of their appearance from various angles and lighting conditions. Then, with the help of computer graphics and advanced techniques, a seamless transition occurs, turning your favorite actor into a virtual chameleon. The driving force behind deepfake creation lies in machine learning methods, particularly those based on deep learning. Autoencoders and generative adversarial networks are the maestros that orchestrate this symphony of visual deception. Now, here's where it gets exciting. The accessibility of modern tools such as TensorFlow and Keras, along with open source trained models and affordable computing infrastructure, has democratized the world of deepfakes. It's like turning complex technology into a user-friendly playground for creative minds like yours. Here is a breakdown. It's all simplified technology, akin to a user-friendly photo editing app. Deep neural networks take the center stage, effortlessly swapping faces and identities with just a few clicks. Thanks to a myriad of online applications like FaceSwap, Zao DeepSwap, Lenza AI, Deepfakes Web, and Reface, creating your own mind-bending content is now as easy as snapping a selfie. These tools aren't just simple, they're also lightning fast. With premium versions of some apps, the processing time is reduced to under an hour, making the deepfake creation process as swift as a futuristic flash. Now that you understand the technology, let's get to what everyone's waiting for, the top five deepfakes of all time. Here's one deepfake featuring the venerable Morgan Freeman, and which took the internet by storm. Crafted by the Dutch deepfake maestros at Diepnep, this video ingeniously placed Freeman's iconic visage onto another speaker, purportedly criticizing US President Joe Biden. If you haven't seen the video yet, here's a quick glance. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. Looks too real, right? Behind the scenes, the genius responsible for this digital spectacle was none other than Bob De Jong, with the legendary Boat Showick lending his vocal prowess to mimic Freeman's distinct voice. Shared initially by Diepnep on their YouTube channel, the video found a second life on Twitter, amassing a staggering 6.5 million views. The intrigue mounted as experts weighed in, pointing out telltale signs that this was indeed a deepfake. If you paid close attention, you'd notice Freeman never blinked, a classic deepfake giveaway. And that facial mask? Well, it didn't quite keep up with the subtle head nods. Tech experts were quick to point out these flaws, shining a light on the potential mess that deepfake tech can stir up. Now let's talk aftermath. People went from, whoa, cool tech, to wait, could this mess with politics? The Morgan Freeman deepfake became a hot topic, sparking debates on the ethical use of AI. It's like a wake-up call, you know? A reminder that playing with powerful AI tools comes with big responsibilities. Were you tricked into believing this was a real video of Morgan Freeman the first time you saw it? Share your experiences in the comments section below and let's keep the conversation going. Meanwhile, brace yourself for what is about to come next. It's mind puzzling. If there is a theme to my message today, it is trust. Trust in what is genuine. 
and what is not. In the days following Queen Elizabeth's passing, as the world mourned the loss of a beloved monarch, an unexpected video surfaced online, throwing a quirky twist on the somber atmosphere. Is she really gone, or is this some wild afterlife dance party? It was none other than a deepfake of Queen Elizabeth II, brought to life by the creative minds at the Oscar-winning VFX studio Frame Store. This deepfake featured the 94-year-old monarch showing off her moves to Lord's hit track Green Light in a viral dance challenge that took the internet by storm. If you haven't seen the deepfake video of Queen Elizabeth dancing to Lord's Green Light, here's a quick glance. Imagine the surprise and disbelief as users scrolled through social media feeds, stumbling upon a video that seemed to defy reality. There she was, the Queen of England, breaking it down to a modern pop anthem. This dance sensation wasn't a spontaneous late-night escapade caught on camera, but rather a meticulously crafted deepfake. Framestore, known for its cutting-edge visual effects in blockbuster films, took the helm, seamlessly blending Queen Elizabeth's image with actress Deborah Stevenson's voice. As the video gained traction, the controversy unfolded in the latter half of the content. Some viewers found the deepfake amusing, appreciating the unexpected light-hearted moment during a period of mourning. However, the divide was palpable. The video sparked over 200 complaints to the UK's media watchdog Ofcom, with Channel 4 defending its intent to issue a stark warning about fake news in the digital age. And suddenly, we're knee-deep in a debate about the ethics of AI. In the end, this deepfake roller coaster of emotions not only showcases the jaw-dropping power of AI, but also serves as a reality check, leaving us all wondering just how far we're willing to go for a laugh in the digital age. And that brings us to the next on the list, the time Mark Zuckerberg became his own supervillain. Let's time travel on this one. It's 2019 and news feeds are swirling with a video straight out of the social network's darkest timeline. A deep fake video can put words in the mouths of people who never said them, literally. And one of Mark Zuckerberg was posted to Instagram. There's Zuck, sitting all CEO-ish behind a desk, but something's off. His eyes gleam a little too cold. His words drip with a power-hungry glint. He's talking about controlling billions of lives, data as his specter-gifted superpower. Creepy, right? But hold on. Before you smash your phone in fear, remember that news label at the bottom? Yeah, that's the genius and slight mischief of this deepfake. It's not actually Zuck spilling his data hoarding dreams. Again, it's tech artists playing a clever game. Imagine this for a second. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data. All their secrets, their lives, their futures. I owe it all to Spectre. See, this video was a digital puppet show crafted by Bill Posters and Daniel Howe, with a little tech magic sprinkled in by Candy One. They wanted to spark a conversation, a mind meld about the power of platforms and the pixels that shape our perception. And it really did spark. The internet went haywire, shares skyrocketed, and Facebook's content cops were put on high alert testing Facebook's fake news firewall like never before. So what happened? Did Zuck get banished to the digital shadow realm for his unauthorized supervillain persona? Nope. Facebook, after a bit of umming and eyeing, decided to leave the video up, but slap a big, fat, warning deepfake label on it. They also gave it the social media equivalent of a timeout, making it harder for it to spread like wildfire. Why the chill approach? Well, Facebook saw this as a chance to play fair. If they censored Zuck's deepfake, wouldn't they be doing the same to anyone else's pixelated doppelganger? It was a tricky tightrope walk, but ultimately, they opted for transparency and open debate. And you know what? It worked. This whole deepfake drama sparked crucial conversations about misinformation, platform responsibility, and the future of our pixelated selves. It reminded us that reality, just like Zuckerberg's face, can be manipulated, and that we, the internet's savvy citizens, need to be critical consumers of every meme and newsflash. In the midst of all those election fraud rumors in 2020, someone decided to kick things up a notch. Rumors were swirling about deepfakes potentially messing with election results, and then it happened. A deepfake video of Trump emerged. This video was so convincing that it nearly cost him a chance at re-election. I mean, talk about a plot twist in real-life politics. But that's not the end of the story. Nope, not even close. This deepfake wasn't a solo act. It was part of a whole series featuring Trump in some seriously eyebrow-raising scenarios. One of the gems was an image showing Trump attempting a sprint away from the police. Social media exploded with these deepfakes, and guess what? Some folks actually bought into the illusion, thinking they were witnessing the real deal. Now, here's where the roller coaster takes a dip. These deepfakes triggered chaos. 
They stoked the flames of those election fraud rumors, causing a whirlwind of confusion and misinformation. Suddenly, people were questioning the very fabric of reality in the midst of a crucial election. Fast forward to Twitter, where AI generated images of Trump resisting arrest and playing cat and mouse with the NYPD flooded the platform. Imagine Trump, in pixels, yelling and tussling with officers. It's like a bizarre digital action movie, isn't it? These images, viewed over 4 million times, became the talk of the town. Some even insisted they were legit, spreading confusion far and wide. But, and here's the punchline, all those images were nothing more than AI wizardry. Crafted at a time when rumors of Trump's potential indictment were swirling, these deepfakes became a surreal part of the election narrative. And that brings us to the star of today's video. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. Remember the Obama we all know and love? The Nobel Peace Prize winning, hope-mongering dude with the killer smile. Well, imagine that familiar face spitting fire like a dragon, dropping truth bombs so hot they could melt your internet. That was the Barack Obama deepfake, a mind-bending masterpiece that shook the internet awake. Think back to 2018, when news feeds were exploding with this video of Obama looking a tad different. His lips moved, the words flowed, but something was off. Then BAM! Mid-sentence, Obama drops the F-bomb on his successor, throws some serious shade at world leaders, and basically becomes the political correctness-crushing superhero we never knew he needed. How about this? Simply, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. It wasn't Obama. It was comedian Jordan Peele, using some seriously next-level tech to morph his face into Obama's and deliver a satirical smackdown. Why? To show us just how easy it is to manipulate reality in the digital age. How a perfectly crafted face swap can turn a peace dove into a political punk rocker. The wizards behind it were all researchers at the University of Washington, using AI to mimic Obama's every lip movement with incredible precision. They even threw in Jordan Peele's mouth for good measure, creating a seamless blend of comedy and cautionary tale. And it did spark a firestorm. People lost their minds. Was this the real Obama finally unleashing his inner truth bombs? Was the world about to enter a deep fake dystopia where nobody knew what was real anymore? Experts cried infocalypse, politicians panicked, and social media became a chaotic background of truth versus fabrication. What to tell your friends tomorrow? Deepfakes are shaking things up, folks. They're not just about swapping faces for laughs anymore. They're becoming so realistic that they can cause real-world confusion and even political turmoil. While anyone can create deepfakes using available tools and technology, it's crucial to consider the ethical implications. Deepfakes can be fun and entertaining, but they can also be used to spread misinformation, cause confusion, and infringe on people's privacy. So, if you're thinking about creating a deepfake, remember to use this technology responsibly and consider the potential impact on others. The major tech companies have already started on sophisticated tools that will be used to detect deepfakes. We've covered a few of those on our channel already. Want to see another AI development disrupting every industry out there? Then you definitely need to check out this video.